if you want to learn a magic trick where you can make a pen cap float from one hand to the other right in front of your spectator's eyes, then this is the video that you're looking for. Hey everybody, I'm Shulazari. Welcome back to Making Impossible. Let's start our today's video. Okay guys, here's a little bit of performance. As you can see over here, I have this pen and I have this cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this cap right over here and I will try to make this cap float from this hand to this hand right in front of your eyes and it looks somewhat like this. You can see that the hands are empty and here's the pen cap. I'm just going to leave the pen cap in thin air just like that and the pen cap will start to travel from this hand to that hand just like that and it is going to land slowly onto that hand and as you saw that the pen cap traveled all the way like that that's the trick and let's see how you can do it okay guys this trick is done with the help of invisible stretchable loop now if you know how to use it then well and good I'm going to start off the tutorial if you don't know how to use an invisible stretchable loop then I have a tutorial for it separately you can go and check the link in the description box as well as in the cards to learn how to use it and give them a better life if anyone of you who are present over here don't know what these loops are these are actually loops of threads which are pretty thin that they are very much invisible to naked eye and they are also stretchable which means as you see these loops that are running around uh, this cardboard if you wear this loop around your hand they are going to tightly fix around your hand but you can stretch them out just like a rubber band so if you have this set of loops then it's okay because I know you can actually use a set of loops and that's how what you are going to need so if you don't have one and if you're first time using it I would I would prefer you to watch that tutorial first so that you can give these loops a better life because as you can see I've already broken two of my loops but they had really good lives and since these are thin they're easily uh, they easily tend to break so if you want to know how to make these loops go long lasting then you might just check out that video and then come back to this video now here is the tutorial so you're going to wear this loop around your hand right over here so I'm going to at first I'm going to just show you with the loop okay with the loop on so as you can see over here if you can see I have a loop running around my hand and I have set my exposure high that's why you can see it otherwise in normal exposure in normal light you won't be able to see this loop and that's why uh, the spectator won't be see uh, won't be able to see that you are using a piece of thread in order to make this pen cap float so what I'm doing is I'm holding this pen just like that where I'm actually wearing the loop in which hand I'm wearing the loop I'm holding the pen just like that I'm, when I'm opening the cap I'm making this cap this cap clip face the spectator so when I'm opening it I am going to press both sides with my thumb and my index finger so that the cap clip actually widens up just like that and as it widens up I go over here and if you have if you know how to wear a loop then you should also know that when the loop runs from here there's a little bit of gap over here between the loop and your hand so when the pain cap widens when the uh, clip widens you're going to just hook this pain cap onto this clip sorry onto this loop through this clip and then what you're doing is you're stretching this up and you're doing any kind of writing or anything by holding this pen right over here sorry this cap right over here and after that you're going to just open up your hand just like that and all you're doing is you're putting your middle finger in between the loop now you have to feel it because you cannot see the loop you have to feel the loop so you have to put the middle finger in between the loop from the bottom okay not from above from the bottom and as you do that you're stretching out the loop and use your uh, other finger you're going to use this ring finger of your left hand in order to stretch out the loop a little bit more so that when you leave this pen cap it actually floats in mid air so as you can see over here it is actually floating using the loop I don't know if you can see the loop right now but yes it is floating using the loop now let me explain to you using this thread so that you can get a clear idea of what is going to happen how you're going to do this trick so that's the actual secret if 
you already know how to use a loop then i don't think that you might need the rest of the tutorial this is for the just the newbies who want to learn this perfectly so you're going to wear this loop right around here okay right around here the loop actually runs around this part of your hand when it is not stretched this will be the gap that is between the loop and the hand now you open up the pin you op widen up the clip and you hook this clip onto this uh, loop and then you stretch it out just like that okay so after you stretch it out you write something you drop the pin or maybe just hold the pin and then as you hold the clip sorry the cap just like that all you're doing is you're using your middle finger to get in between the loop from the bottom okay not from the above from the bottom you're getting into the loop now since you cannot see the loop you have to feel it while you're putting your middle finger in inside the loop through the bottom and after you do that you're also using your other finger this ring finger in order to stretch up stretch the loop a little bit more and then after that what you're doing is you're holding the pen just like that in your hand as you hold while writing and then if you stop and you talk to someone as you hold like that as you hold a pen like that you're holding the pen just like that and then you're leaving this pen cap right from here just like that and the pen and as you take this hand upwards the gravity does the rest of the work the gravity slides this pen cap from here to the other hand okay now there's a big knot over here for that reason the pen cap stopped otherwise it would just come over here and it would just maybe strike my hand or maybe just get stuck right over here in the thin air now from here what you can do is you can bring this back uh, bring this hand down slowly and that will make the illusion that the pen cap is still floating in the air and it is actually resting down on your hand very slowly and after that happens you actually since that loop is stretchable you actually uh, leave this loop you actually uh, fold this to fingers and the loop actually snaps back to this hand and as the loop snaps back to this hand what you're doing is you're just taking this pen cap and you're just again pressing these two sides widening up the clip and then you are just putting this pen cap on to the pen and that's how the loop come back to wherever it started from and that's how you also make this pen cap float and you can again float the pen cap right in front of your spectator size just like that again because the loop is again set to be done like that so that's the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so and don't forget to follow me on instagram at chwellazardi also if you have any questions you can use the comment section for that and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel which is a pretty savage channel i post entertaining videos and gameplays over there and the link to that channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack that monday episodes peace